Now, tonight, Channel 4 News can reveal that the UK is home to far more Eastern European Roma people than official estimates ever suggested. The backdrop, of course, is a growing political row over how many new migrants will arrive from Romania and Bulgaria when restrictions are lifted in January. The government has said there were relatively few Roma in Britain. But after the most comprehensive study of its kind, we now know that around 200,000 Eastern European Roma migrants are living here. Most are in England, where the population is just over 193,000. Scotland has just over 3,000. Almost 900 live in Wales and around 500 in Northern Ireland. The report says this is a conservative estimate and it is likely that the population will continue to increase. And most of those Roma have arrived from Eastern Europe in the last 10 years. Our correspondent Kieran Jenkins is in Sheffield, which has seen a big influx to see whether it has changed that city. People are living in slums, they're spat at on the streets. No wonder that actually they come here. Come and have a go! It isn't always the warmest welcome, but for this rapidly growing immigrant community, it's a whole lot better than what they've left behind. I was looking jobs for two years in Slovakia and never find it. When we came here, one, two months gone, I've got a job. This is Page Hall, Sheffield, and these are its newest residents. They are Roma, Europe's biggest and most maligned minority. About 10 years ago, there were only one or two Roma families in this part of Sheffield. Today, there are several hundred. It's quite remarkable, really. Everywhere you turn, you see someone of Roma origin, and there are more families arriving all the time. Britain has long been home to Irish travellers, but these are the Roma of Eastern Europe, a whole new wave of immigrants. And at the local advice centre, it's Miroslav's job to help them settle in. What can you help them with? Uh, jobs, employment and benefits, disability living allowance, School? job seekers, education. Miroslav came over in 2004 when Slovakia joined the EU. Nine years on, more and more Roma continue to arrive. The thing I like Britain because they're having really good stuff here and they're having education, they're having everything, so they easy find any job and easy find any help. So just how many Roma have come? Relatively few was the government's last guess. Research shared exclusively with this program suggests otherwise. 200,000 have arrived, mostly in the last 10 years. Does 200,000 sound like relatively few? Uh, no, we would challenge that. It's significant, and it, where its significance is in specific local areas. So there is an impact on services, there's an impact on communities. Not all negative, by the way, there's a lot of positives that come from it, but we have to be aware of it and we have to be able to deal with it. How many children have you got? When the Roma come, they come in numbers. Miroslav has four children. Families of ten are not uncommon. Who else have we got? And we have in here the co Miroslav and Kevin. You're Miroslav. Yeah. And he's Miroslav. We always we always call him Bob. But if you if you'd have grown up in Slovakia, yeah. how different would your life have been, do you think? That would be different, like here and in Slovakia. Because in Slovakia when you go to school. They don't, they don't let you to go to college. They don't let you go to college? No, not college, nothing. Why? No jobs. Why? Because, like, like um, if you're Roma, they just don't care about you. For Miroslav Sr., the draw was the chance to send his children to school and college. Men like Roman and Ladislav come here for a shot at a half-decent job. They say we are actually working like fashion, they call Sport Direct. In where? Sport Direct. In Sport Direct? Yeah. You both worked in Sport Direct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they... Well, all right. Word has spread about the opportunities here. 20 members of Roman's family now live in England. Is there room enough for everyone in Page Hall? Is there room enough for more people in Page Hall? Um, I wouldn't say there's more room for more people to arrive. I don't think we could accommodate more people arriving. Um, I think it's taken its toll in terms of numbers and houses that are available to house, these, to house people. The existing community that's here, have they welcomed the Roma community in? I think there's been some increased tension. 
um, since their arrival. Um, but a lot of work is going on to look at how we can integrate them. I see them start running. That's it. After dark, the tensions are plain to see. Look, shouting and screaming like this. I meet Jane and Bev, local residents who organise their own nightly street patrols. It's just squalor up, the, up there, and it's all to do with, obviously, these Roma. Um, these hordes of people, Roma, again, um, just standing on street corners, drinking, eating, just trucking all the rubbish all over where they stood. So my name is Miroslav, Roma community worker. Three nights a week, Miroslav is out too, trying to keep the peace. Why do, they, why do they stand outside there? Answer me that. We like standing outside, we like talking and we like sharing information. So I suppose in Slovakia there aren't people living in terraced houses overlooking all the noise, are there? People who perhaps aren't from the same culture, which is what's happening here. That's what's happening here, yeah. And that's where the problems come from. That's where the problems come from, yeah. Mm. It's an excluded group, it's an impoverished group. They've faced racism and all sorts of problems across Europe. That's the problem. That's the thing we need to tackle. It's poverty, it's discrimination. It's nothing else. They're no different to anyone else. What's going on? Miroslav and Sheffield's Roma have simply taken the chance to turn their lives around. What are they singing about? Listen, I don't want to be having life that before than we having before, so we, we try to change in something. We try to change my life. But their arrival, and in such huge numbers, means parts of Britain are also changing fast.